Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger, and we are about to go right into a battle, as you can see. No time to waste. I believe I mentioned this last time, but you do not want to use physical attacks here. They will do very little to these enemies. But you can use Flame Toss or Fire Whirl, since that does fire damage, essentially. And that's as effective as magic, even though it isn't magic. And... It's good to use Fire World there, because we don't have any multi-targeting magic attacks yet. I said yet, I gave away that there will be multi-targeting magic attacks, but whatever. And Chrono leveled up. That's always welcome. And another unique thing about Hecron Cave is that I don't think any of the enemies return. Once you beat them, that's it. They're gone. In most other areas, if you beat enemies and then leave the area, they'll come back. But these enemies are gone for good once you kill them. So there isn't much leveling up to be done around here. Just, you know, beat the enemies and head on to the boss, which we are quickly approaching. And that'll be that, pretty much. And I'm pretty sure I said this last time, but I really liked this part of the game when I first played it. It was so much fun to test out my magic for the first time. Anyway, one more fight right here. And I think you actually can physically attack those octopods. Well, actually, they're octoblushes. But... Yeah, it's much more effective to use magic. Yeah, I call them octopods because they're essentially palette swaps for octopods. They're just pink instead of blue. But magic is very effective against them, so don't bother trying to use physical attacks. There aren't enough enemies to drain your MP, so just go ahead and use all the magic you want. And they will spam that fire attack. They just love that. Too bad it doesn't do much damage. Well, too bad for them, I should say. Not too bad for us. Okay, so we are just about ready to fight Hecron, who is the boss of this area. But we're going to try and open this box. And of course we can't. Once again, it is sealed by a mysterious force. But yeah, we're just going to walk on water here like Jesus. Actually, we're going to run on water. We're even better than Jesus here. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'll spark controversy like John Lennon did, and everyone will hate me and burn their computer for watching my LPs or something. I don't know. Anyway, time to fight Hecron, who is really not that hard. Yeah, pretty much the only time you'll be in danger is if he says, Go ahead, try and attack. And you don't want to attack when he does that. You want to attack when he says, Brief counterattack break. And yeah, this attack here is Antipode, which I haven't used before in this playthrough. And it's a pretty cool attack, so pretty much just use that. And lightning. So that Chrono has something to do. And this is also kind of a good balance gender-wise, because the male characters have always been stronger physically in this game. And now that we're using magic a lot, the female characters are almost more useful since their magic is better. And yeah, that attack is pretty nasty, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so time to heal. That's a good thing to do when he says that. And strikes that malicious pose there. And then just wait. Okay. Now you nail him. So it really isn't that hard if you just don't screw up like that. If you attack him while he's striking that pose and saying, go ahead, try and attack, you will regret it. And it might become hard to snap back from that kind of mistake. Because the kind of damage he's doing with Cyclone slash Water, 
you do that to everyone with his counterattack. It's essentially a water wave counterattack. And it's pretty darn nasty, so, you know, don't let him do it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that attack, too. No big deal. Time to heal again, and I think Moral could actually use a tonic. So, I'll take care of that. Have Luka do it. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, let's nail him. Okay, shouldn't take too many more hits here. Should be gone pretty soon. Maybe one more round of lightning slash antipode should do it. Oh, we got him! Nice! And Luca leveled up. And is that our next clue? Is that the advice we're going to act upon for the next part of the game? Well, we'll see. For now, we're just going to jump blindly into the water and hope for the best. And it randomly takes us back to Truce. We haven't been here in forever. It's nice to hear this music again. I, I like this music. It's nice and relaxing and such. Anyway, now we're going to talk to Luca's mom. In case you couldn't tell, she is crippled. It looks like she has legs, but, you know, that's because they couldn't really... It'd be too graphic to show what she'd actually look like. And so anyway, looks like they have a functional marriage there. But now we talk to Taban. And look at what he gives us. A nice piece of armor for Luca. It ups your speed, and I think it ups your fire defense, too. So that's not bad. And... Hey, look, it's Fritz! Yeah, I, I really did kind of save your skin back there. Ooh, ten mid-ethers. Ethers! Oh, I keep saying that wrong. And of course you want to stutter to make sure he doesn't know what's been going on. And right after he says that, he just walks away. He's like, I'm in your debt. I'm leaving now. <laughs> yeah, nothing new really, so I'll just sell my old stuff. Oh, I haven't used my tabs yet. I should maybe, you know, give them to people. Yeah, um... I'll give the magic tab to Chrono, and I guess I'll give the speed tab to, uh... Marl, maybe, since Luca has the speed boost? Okay. Let's go home. It's been quite an adventure. Don't remind me. That was quite an ordeal to get out of right there, but it's good to see you again, Mom. Now we're going to open the gate so we can access 600 AD. Where Magus lives. I should say when Magus lives. And I think we're running out of time here, so I'll have to cut it off with these two gates now showing up at the end of time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Okay, it turns out I cut the video off way too soon. So I'm going to do something else here. God, I can't believe I misjudged that so much. I guess the battle with Hecron didn't take as long as I thought it would. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to do something that'll help me out a lot a bit later. It's not really going to do too much for the time being, but it'll be more convenient to... It'll be more convenient if I have this done by the time I need to go to where I'm going. 
Wow, that made a lot of sense, didn't it? Um, yeah. Anyway, there's a gate in the forest, if you can remember. And we're gonna open it up here, because eventually, they block off that area. And that makes it a pain, because you have to go all the way through the future to get to the other gate. This way, you just have them both open at the end of time, very early on. In case we ever have to, you know, go back here. And you will see why we need to go back here. Yeah, okay, this time for real, I think we're running out of time. And, yeah, thanks for watching, and next time we will explore some more. Again. Yeah, um, see you next time.